Hey all, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and I'm here with another a jewelry unbagging from the thrift store, and it's this big boy right here. Um, so I purchased this. I know I usually tell you that I get them half off. Um, they're $40 usually. Um, I could not get to the thrift store on my typical day that I go where they offer the discount, so unfortunately this one I paid full price for. Um, so I had a rough week at the office, um, so I figured I'd treat myself. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. I'm gonna rip open right here. There was a couple of things that I saw in here that I thought looked interesting. And so, um, yeah, one of it is this item right here, which I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab. Um, to me, this looks like a vintage Cinnabar, Chinese Cinnabar necklace. And so, I'm gonna grab that since that to me was kind of like one of the most interesting things. And this, here we go. So this is really pretty beautiful. Um, this looks very intricately carved. Um, they're large beads. It has a pretty clasp on it, a little box clasp. Doesn't have any kind of mark um, on the clasp, but that's really beautiful. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and that was one of the items that did initially attract me to this bag. So very happy with that. That is stunning. Super happy about that. Um, we just have a little stretch bracelet here. Grab. This looks like a vintage long faux pearl and um, gold tone necklace. Looks like that. It's got a toggle clasp on it. Not seeing initially any um, maker's mark on there, so I'm going to just put that aside. A bangle came flying out. I'm going to take some of these bangles out. or attempt to. <laughs> you know me and these bangles, because I feel like, you know, you get these jars, they're always filled with so many bangles. Um, so many bangles. So I like to take them all out, or at least take out as many as I can, since they tend to clog everything up. This one may not be happening. Um, yeah, so this is just like a bunch of fashion bangles. Um, some of them have little pearl dangles on them, um, flower details and stuff like that, but pretty standard stuff. Gonna put all those aside. Some more cheapy stretch plastic um, pearl, full pearl bracelets. Gonna put those with the bangles. Um, this one, this one's cuter. has like a little flower detail um, feels a little bit more substantial has some rhinestones on it um, this one's cute prettier it's a little bit better quality I have this right here which is a huge stretch bracelet with multiple strands purple looks like some of the stretch might be wearing a little bit some strands that are coming out here you could see it's cute definitely makes a statement and um, the rhinestones in the main flower um, detail are all still there and intact um, I'm a little scared though that that might break apart here is a super long um, super shiny this is a really pretty gold tone necklace and then has a um, hang tag on it right there that says Monet. This is lovely. This is great. Well, um, super versatile piece. I feel it's long enough that you can double it up. Um, it's really nice. Great condition. Very shiny. Um, pretty much looks brand new. So that's fantastic. I do love Monet. So I'm happy about that. Um, here is a 
kind of plasticky wrap bracelet with rhinestones. Gonna put that in the craft pile. Here is some more kind of like junky kids bracelets, plasticky. Gonna put that in the same pile. Um, this looks like a rhinestone clamper that has gone through hell and maybe a truck drove over it. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is a bracelet. I don't know what this once was, but um, we will put that aside. Ooh, 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 you guys. I see this J. Crew necklace. This is like, oh, yes. This is like a, oh, it's missing some pieces of enamel. That's a bummer, you guys. Oh, maybe they're in the bag. Um, this is a pretty um, well-known J. Crew rhinestone piece. Um, and it has, it's beautiful. I mean, you can look at it. This was like the heyday of J. Crew. Jenna Lyons there as the lead designer um, when she was making all of their really upscale um, brands and the really upscale jewelry. And so, um, yeah, it's a bummer. This is missing um, some of the enamel, but I'll see what's going on. Maybe I'll find it in the bag. Plastic stretchy, some more faux pearl plastic stretchies. Those look like that. Put all of those aside. This weird, um, ugh, with some hair on it. Yay, bonus hair. Um, I'm gonna throw that aside. That's actually an earring. What else do we have in this bag, oh, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see. We're looking for treasures. We're looking for treasures. This is cool. This is a heavy um, silver tone bracelet with rhinestone detailing right there in the center. It's pretty ornate, super heavy, nicely made. Look at the back of that under the under, I would say undercarriage. I'm sure that that's not the proper, <laughs> the proper terminology, but suits right I mean I call my cat's stomach his undercarriage too um, but this is pretty it's it's actually pretty small um, like a seven and a half um, this magnet cl closure on it is still very strong so this is beautiful I really like this piece um, a lot and it's in great condition it almost seems brand new so I'm happy about that nice piece great so that's exciting some good stuff here some good stuff moving right along this is a big, heavy um, stretch bracelet with black crystal detail. And you can see here, um, some of the crystals are missing. So um, that's a little bit of a bummer because it feels like it's the stretch is in decent condition. But I think I can actually, I have a couple of projects um, that have black crystals on it and I'm missing crystals on it. So I think I'm gonna use this. I like to say I use it as my tribute and I'm gonna harvest crystals off of this to repair some of the other pieces. They're actually, um, I think they're Betsy Johnson pieces um, that I have that are really cute, um, that are big sellers, so I'll probably do that. This is a another little like costume jewelry piece with rhinestone detailing and um, the clasp is like this, kind of like a buckle clasp. Little rhinestone detail on top. This is okay. Um, so this is something else that had attracted me to this bag. Um, I, I was looking at it through the bag and I know that it, I could tell that it was not authentic silver or anything like that, um, but it did look very interesting and nicely made and good quality. Um, so this is the other reason why I chose this bag and was more willing to pay full price for it. Um, this piece right here, it has this big, um, kind of like faux silver, beautiful turquoise look to it, big station, nice rose design, um, pretty dangles right there. Necklace itself has extra detailing, kind of like an ethnic look to it with some of this these uh this beaded detail here and it's got a nice chain on it this is very pretty so i'm really happy about this piece right here it's in good condition everything's looking intact and nice so um this is fantastic so awesome another great piece
very, very excited. This is a um, blue faux pearl with rhinestone detail necklace. Just a, um, a pretty little costume jewelry piece. I like the color on that. It's almost like a Tiffany blue. Um, so that's nice. Uh-oh. Looks like I have pieces and parts here. <laughs> yeah, this is a big tangle and uh, the necklaces and pieces here. You guys, this um, bag smells like perfume. <laughs> it really smells like someone's perfume. Okay, so uh, this is a um, floral statement necklace with rose detail and crystal detail. And it looks like it would have had, this would have connected here. Yes, so this would have connected here like that. Um, I think I can I think I can fix this. I have a lot of jump rings and stuff like that. So I do think that this is repairable. Um, it doesn't I don't see any hang tag on it or maker's mark, so I'm not really sure. Um, I'll see if it's ultimately worth fixing. But it is a cute necklace. Um, it's not terrible. Okay. This looks like a little origami owl. Component. doesn't have anything in it um, it's rose gold but oh this is so cute the bezel has crystal detail that's pretty nice and it's on a little lobster claw right there closure I think these sell okay I don't think they go for like huge huge money and admittedly like I don't know a whole lot about origami owl so I, like, I don't know who sells it um, you know where do you buy it do you just go to the, like is it at the mall is it at like a specific department store um i'm not really sure of course diamond international tons of that always at least one in every bag oh i see a rhinestone piece here that looks pretty got this got this you guys I hope you're um, having a good day and I thank you for tuning in um, you know I'm still getting started here on YouTube I don't have too many subscribers um, but I don't know I'm, I'm figuring it out I don't I don't know if there's a secret to YouTube success I definitely haven't figured it out yet um, but I definitely also appreciate your support big time um, and if you do enjoy the content, I appreciate your subscriptions for sure and share and likes and all of that good stuff. So this is a vintage um, rhinestone necklace. There's some what people call uh, dead rhinestones in here. So you'll see that some of the rhinestones um, have blackened, which happens with antique and vintage jewelry um, when it's rhinestone quite a bit. It's unfortunate because this is a pretty necklace and it is, it is old because it has the, the hook closure, um, right here, you know, which is indicative of older styles of rhinestone jewelry. If you find rhinestone jewelry, sometimes it has a lobster claw clasp. That's pretty typical of newer styles of rhinestone jewelry of what you'd buy at like a Macy's or a Claire's. Um, but I'll see if I can maybe replace some of those stones and, um, or it could be a piece where I take stones from another tribute. All right. 
Okay, so this is a bummer. This would have been a, um, a crystal necklace. Ooh, we're a little out of focus here. A crystal necklace um, here, but you can see that the chain is broken, but it's got some really pretty beads. I mean, this component's gorgeous. Look how super shiny that is, so faceted. Um, and the matching beads are really pretty too. So that's a great item um, for craft lot for sure. I'm sure someone could make something really spectacular out of that. myself um here is a almost looks like a silver tone looking at the tag there is something written oh it says it does say sterling score um awesome so this is a sterling silver beaded and rose quartz necklace um this is really nice i feel like you don't see this all that often um this long of a length of a necklace um, with rose quartz. So that's very exciting. That's pretty. So this will polish up probably really pretty. Um, that's an amazing find. Very exciting. Cool. I was so upset. I'm uh, the other, just this morning. I'm like so absent-minded. I was of course like multitasking badly. Um, and I always get absent-minded and I, I forgot where I put my sterling silver polishing cloth and course so I, put, I actually ended up I put it with my acid testing kit so instead of shoving my gloves back into my acid testing kit I shoved my uh, polishing cloth <laughs> um, but I was happy to find it so I mean it drove me nuts for a little bit because I was trying to clean some pieces up and get them ready for sale and whatnot and so it definitely drove me nuts um, but eventually I found it this is a super pretty um, Premier Designs necklace. This is actually the second time I'm seeing this bad boy. I recently just got one of these, the exact same necklace, and it was in not as good shape as this. And this is actually pr very lovely. Um, I love it. I love these flower designs. They're articulated. Um, it's quite feminine. It's really pretty. It's in very good shape. The chain is very clean. There's not wear on it. So that's a great find too. Um, this is one of those pieces where I'd be like, I don't know if I want to sell it, sell it or keep it. Um, cause that's right up my alley. We have some miscellaneous things here. More stretchy pearls, um, more like faux crystally, um, earrings, stretchies, stretchies, other faux crystally earring. I'll put those aside. Here is a religious stretch bracelet with um, Aurora Borealis crystal, and then it has some metals here. It looks like that. Um, this is a, another pretty plain um, pearl and crystal necklace on a stretch cord. This is something that I think is also probably good for crafting. Um, these beads would be nicer if they were used in some other way, I think. Earrings. A little cluster of things in the corner here. Another stretch faux pearl bracelet. Oh boy. This is interesting. And huge. This is a huge mixed media <laughs> stretch bracelet. Wow. So it's got this big centerpiece here with the pearls and turquoise colored beads and a little bit of um, lattice work. And then it has all of these jingly, jangly components, all these hearts. Um, and there's glass beads on here, Aurora Borealis beads, um, what looks like kind of like sea glass. This is kind of cool. You guys, I, I love this ring. I just pulled it out of the bag, but it's like not the most practical because it sits so high. Um, she catches on everything. <laughs> wow. Uh, that is a statement for sure. Um, a statement of which people are going to hear you walking down the street. Um, so if you're into making quiet entrance and exit, it may not be your jam. But if, you, 
<laughs> you like to make some noise, this is the bracelet for you. That's interesting, for sure. Of course, there's mage tangle here. Really major tangle. This is a, a broken necklace, um, missing some components, so that'll go to craft. What can we get here? I don't, I don't want to pull things because I see things are broken. I don't know what perfectly posh is, but apparently it says independent consultant. They earn, whoever, whatever perfectly posh is, they earn this bracelet. Um, not sure. Now there's stretchy pearl, has an earring stuck on it. Just looks like that, silver tone. Okay. So the weather report said we had a 40% chance of rain today. Um, which I take as a chance of rain. And so I'm hearing all rumblings outside my door here like it's gonna rain. Right. Guys, I feel like I'm pulling out these tangles in record time. I'm so proud of myself. I even have scissors. You know, I, sometimes I also um, use my jewelry, pliers and whatnot. Um, stuff always gets stuck on each other. Um, so this is just a kind of like a fashion necklace with butterfly components on it. I think this one reads nicer on on the screen than it actually is. It's kind of cheapy. I have here this um, crystal flower component on a chain and lots of extra hair, which is delicious. Um, the component itself doesn't look like the best quality. It's just um, feels like something you would see at maybe like Claire's. Although I like the AB crystals on it, but this chain looks like sterling silver. It's on a silver ball chain, um, which to me looks like sterling. Um, so that's something I'll have to look at, I think, a little bit later. But that looks like that. Have these this woven seed bead necklace looks like it's almost like a crocheted beads has a magnetic closure it's an interesting closure the clasp looks like this I've never actually seen that before just do that I might take the clasp off of this and like harvest the clasp as a jewelry component. Um, I don't know. This type of stuff is, it's not really my style. I think, you know, it might be for younger girls. Like I think for teenagers, it would be cute. I have this giant chain here. kind of strange it has this huge um, lobster claw on it not really sure what that is but that could be good um, crafting as well that's a nice component You guys, this is funny. It says Pitbull Mom on it. People here really love their pit bulls. It's like a real community of, of folks that are way into rescue and just adoption and whatnot. This is so funny. So it's kind of like just a, um, a silver tone bracelet and says Pitbull Mom. That's so funny. <laughs> Very New Orleans. Um, I have this fashion ring with a faux pearl and it is adjustable. I have this 
tangly mess of bracelets. So, one of these bad boys where it's kind of like 12 bracelets of one. They're so heavy. And that was at the bottom of the bag. There's this um, kind of faux Indian style with um, fake turquoise detailing all around. It's missing a couple of stones. Um, so again, this could be good just to harvest for the beads. Oops, there was a um, one of these satin necklaces here that had a glass um, drop on it. Look like this, just a little bit of an art glass uh, drop detail. This is a nice looking bead. Some like a dichroic glass detail right there. That's pretty. I feel like they always put these on these like satin cord necklaces and they're, I don't know. I don't know if they're doing them any justice as the other one of that gross rosé. Um, earring. Here's a gross ribbon necklace, but these beads are kind of cute, so um, that would be good for crafting. Oh, this looks like, looks like the, this is the sister of our Pitbull, our Pitbull bracelet, so maybe Pitbull owner um, was also a Nana. So we have two of those. Um, the Nana one is a little bit not such great shape. It looks like it's worn. This is another another one of those beaded, almost crocheted style necklaces. This was a fast bag, you guys. I feel like I went through this really quickly. I think there was just like a couple of bulky items in here that were taking up space. I mean, there is this massive tangle in here, which uh, could hold treasures or could be more junk. Um, I don't know. So here is the um, matching bracelet for the necklace that we saw earlier that was vintage with the toggle clasp. I like the bracelet, it's very cute. It's fun, it's in decent shape. It's nice to have a set. This is pretty serious, you guys. put this mess back because I don't want to crowd things up and make things sloppy. Let's go right here. <laughs> this is a silver tone um, clamper. Cute. It's got sand dollars on it. Uh, looks like the magnetic might be busted on it, but that's a shame because it is a very cute bracelet and it's in good shape um, if the clamper magnet wasn't busted. Okay, freed, I freed some stuff. All those like wire bracelet or wire jewelry from the early 2000s, those floating necklaces, those things are like everywhere, man. Like every thrift store that you go to, every bag that you buy is just filled with them and they're just like there to like tangle up your life. And it's so funny because they were, I mean, they were so popular. I remember you just go everywhere and they were like being sold everywhere. Um, so I guess it makes sense now that no one wants them and they're just in all of these thrift store bags. But so this one's um, kind of tangled up, but it is a cute silver tone um, beaded necklace. Um, looks like that. I'll have to untangle him a little bit more. All 
All right, you guys, so I think at this point we're just at the half hour mark. Um, I'm gonna take a pause here and continue this video in a part two, because I don't want it to be so long and I have major tangles here that we're dealing with. So um, I hope you enjoyed part one and um, it was fun finding some of these treasures with me. I was definitely excited to find some of the good stuff that we found. Um, so please tune in for part two, which we'll post shortly after this video. Thanks so much and have a good day.